We don't need no introduction. Let's jump into it, man. All right, guys, today we're going to be jumping on here. We're going to be polishing, waxing another black trim on my Pathfinder truck. Now, after a lot of this stuff, these trim gels, trim dressing, all this kind of stuff that really done to fail over a period of time, I come to the conclusion. Either you paint it or you wax it. Now, ain't nothing too much really these trims going to stay up here. You know, you can use Meguiar's trim gel or Mother's or Turtle Wax or whatever. You know, the case might be Adams. You can use all the trim gel stuff you want. But over a period of time, guys, it's really not going to stay here. So I figure the best protection that you can get for a stand there is just wax the black bumpers and stuff. You better all get you a good quality wax like this right here, the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, Pure Synthetic Plumbers. This wax will give you at least two, three months. And, you know, at least three months of protection on your black bumpers and black plasters and stuff. Put it up there and just buff it right on back off, you know. That's just my theory of it. That's the best way to do it. Because um, all the other stuff really ain't going to last you. I just got to keep it real with you. Now, as you can see here, I done applied it to the bumper. Should be already had time to cure out. Now, I just done half of this just to show you guys what the difference will be from this side. Just the half that I haven't touched over here, this is the side I put the wax on. Okay? Now, you know... Some people say, oh, man, I don't like the trim gel. The trim stuff is cool, but after it rain or something like that, that stuff washes right off, guys. Just keep it real, man. That stuff ain't going to stay there. It's coming right off as soon as it rains, especially a hard rain. If it rain cats and dogs out there, this stuff coming right off with it, man. Right off. So, uh, here we go, man. Let's, uh, let's buff it off. All right, this is dry enough. Yep, it's dry enough. See what I mean, guys? You can put a shine on this stuff with just wax. Plain old waxing it, man. And when it rains, this wax ain't going to wash away. You know, it's going to stay there. You can wax these bumps just like you wax your car. It's the best protection. It's more natural looking. You ain't got to worry about it squeaking all up and whatnot. It ain't going to hurt it. Because, you know, when this stuff started washes away, it starts to squeak all up. and really looks terrible. But look at that. This is natural. See that? That's a natural shine. That's not going to squeak all up. Because it's natural. It's just going to be water there. That's natural. It's going to be hydrophobic there. That's natural, guys. The water will be right up off of it. Now, like I said, I don't mean just take any old wax. Get you a good quality wax. Like the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste, man. This is the one you're going to want to use on your black bumpers, your black mirrors, um, all of your side mirrors on your car. If they're black, take this, wax them with this, bumpers the same way, wax them. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to apply another coat. And you got to feel how slick it is, guys. Make sure you use this type of wax, though. I recommend this type of wax because this type of wax is very hydrophobic and very slick. All right, so uh, here we go, man. Here we go. All right. All right. It's nice soap. Let's apply it up there.
Cause all this, you know, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. That trim stuff ain't gonna last, man. All these black magic trim dressings, turtle wax trim dressings, Maguire's and Mother's trim dressings and all that stuff. It's not gonna stay there. Okay, let the wax cure. I let it cure. When I let it cure, then we're going to buff it back off. Now, use a good quality wax. I recommend this one when you're doing trim. The reason why, like I said earlier, man, this stuff is very hydrophobic. It's going to protect the black plastics for a very long time. It's going to give you three to four months of protection. By then, you probably be waxed them again. See, that's why I recommend this one. But when you're using all those other trims and trim gels and Meguiar's trim gel and turtle wax trim gel or whatever, 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 those, like I said, man, when a good rain, even a snowstorm come through and it be screeped all up, it's, it ain't going to stay up there. Heavy rain, snowstorm, ice storm, that stuff coming right off. When you look at your bumpers, that be back husky looking again. Cause all that that gel, that greasy stuff gonna come right off. Just ain't gonna stay there. So I recommend just doing it this way. Just waxing it, put a buff on it. Just give it a natural shine where it ain't gonna be greasy or none of it. It's just gonna be a natural black, slick shine. And the rain water is just gonna repel right off of it. See, it's gonna be very hydrophobic. It's gonna bead water right off the bumper. See, it just, and that's what you want. Uh, you don't want to keep applying these gels and stuff and it's not lasting up here. No, that's just really nonsense, in my opinion, guys. You want something that's going to last. If you're going to put in work on something, might, might as well make your work count. This is, putting up trim gels and all that stuff up here really ain't going to count, man. Like I said, just it's, it's messy, too. On the other it's also messy. You know, it's greasy, messy. It's not going to stay up here. It squeaks all up. And uh, you can see where I did some of here. See how it squeaks all up here? See there? How it squeak up. So you better off just clean your bumpers in and wax. Wax them just like you do your car. I think the stuff cured enough. It's all both. Once it cure all the way out, just take it. And wax, man. Just wax your bumps. Cure it out. Let it cure all the way out and buff it off. It's the best way to go. Um, I think some of the better stuff that you could use is solution finish. That's probably, it's more like a dye. That's probably going to be the best stuff that you can use that probably going to stay there for a good while. It's probably solution finish. Um... Other than that, man, I mean, all this other stuff out here, it just ain't going to stay up there. Um, Adams and Maguire's, Turtle Wax. Uh, it just ain't going to stay there, guys. Uh, the Maguire's Wax going to work, going to be the best for trim to me. Let it cure, buff it back off. You ain't got to worry about it being greasy. It's going to put a light, nice shine on it. And um, it's going to be hydrophobic. You know, so, you know, this is the best way to do it. Okay, let's check the cure time on this, man. Yeah, it's dry enough. Now I can buff it back off. That's the best way to go, guys. Believe me or not. Y'all gonna want to go with that McGuire's, I'm telling you. Okay, let's buff it off. Put a little elbow grease in it. Get it back off here. Gonna be the best way to go. Okay. All right. Flip that rag. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
All right, now you guys see, it's also very slick. If you can hear the feel it, you can see the slick, feel the slickness of it. See that? Now let's compare. Drop the rag here. Let's compare to the side I haven't touched. Look at here. That stuff squeaked all up. See here? This is how I just did. See the difference? It's got a nice shine to it. It's more of a low gloss, natural shine. It ain't overly greasy. You can touch it without stuff getting all over your hands. See how pretty that is, guys? You can just wax these black plastics, man. Don't have to put all that grease on it. See that? Come over here where I haven't touched. See how squeaked up it is? Look there. That's from the jails and stuff. See there? How squeaked all up. And look how husky it gets. That wax on it. That wax ain't gonna turn no time soon. It's gonna stay just like that, man. See that? Because it's natural. It's not wet. It's not greasy. It's been waxed. See? That's the best way to do your black plastics, man. Wax them and use the Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, guys. You see the difference, man. Big difference there. The bumper looks new. See there? Slick. The water going to repel right off of them. It's not going to leave squeaks and stuff. That's the best way to do it, man. All right, guys. Say no more. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. Your guys about to get up on it. Use the McGuire's Ultimate Pace on your trim. Bumper trim, side mirrors, all your black plastics. This stuff works great. Put it out there, let it cure, and buff it back off. All right, guys, I'm getting off here. You guys take care. I'm going to hit y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.